Well, welcome to Field and Raw Live Shooting News. It's an absolute pleasure to be here with Steve Broomfield. And, uh, and Steve, one of the hot topics at the moment that you guys are looking after is the, is the programme reference gamekeeping, isn't it? Now, come on, just explain to us and the viewers a little bit more, a little bit more in depth on what's going on. Because I, I know you're very close to all these guys and, and they're coming to you for problems. But it, as you're, you know, with your wealth of experience as a gamekeeper, they're not actually that difficult to overcome, are they? I think, I think that's the thing. We, we've always had a gamekeeper department at BASC. Yeah. Uh, it's always someone we would come and get advice from. Um, but we get a lot of inquiries about people having problems with their shoots, you know. And it's coming from small DIY shoots, part-time keepers, things like that. You know, yeah. small syndicates have got together trying to trying to get together a nice shoot. Absolutely, yeah. Um, and... and no one's really got in-depth gamekeeping experience, you see, so they're, they're doing their best, they put yep. a lot of money into it, yeah. guys are paying to come in the shoot, they're, they're enjoying it all through the summer, putting the birds in and like that, and yeah. then they're, they're finally they get let down. When it comes to when the comes actual to shooting, yeah, the shooting yeah, days. They're not holding the birds and stuff like that, and, and the disappointment. When we talk to them, when we get around and actually talk to them, and they tell us what's happening, there's not really a lot going wrong. Yeah. It's just a lack of experience. Yeah, just all those sort of little, yeah. you know, yeah. finer points there. That's that, right, there's often simple things, because... One thing I say to them is you, you, you've got to stop thinking like a person going out shooting. You've got to stop thinking like a pheasant. <laughs> because a pheasant won't live somewhere if, if everything isn't right. Yeah. You know, I always say to them, you, you, you wouldn't be very happy if you went home from work every day and your house was dark and cold, yeah. your, your, your dinner was cold, your bed was damp, you'd, yeah. you'd either get rid of your wife, you'd, wouldn't you? <laughs> you know. So, Sorry, ladies. <laughs> a pheasant's not going to stay in a cold, dark, drafty wood. So yeah. you've, got, you've got to go right back to basics. And, and, and think like a pheasant. Yeah. And, and when we, you know, when we start talking to these guys, um, we, we give a lot of information out like that. But one day, a chap said to me, he said, "Because can't BASC do a day where we can actually come along and spend the day with a gamekeeper and ask him all the things that we, you know, yeah, air all their issues and, and show us what he means. Yeah. Because no matter how many books you read, a keeper showing you yeah. is, is so much better. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. So that's so that's what we've been working on at the moment. And 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 starting to prove very popular. We, um, we, we thought we'd pilot one, yeah. and it's only 160 acres, the chap's been running it for 25 years, he's made all the mistakes in the world, yeah. and he's got a quite a successful shoot on there now, um, so we thought we'd try it on there, so we, we, we got the release pens all sorted out, we put it out, you know, and we thought if we can get 12 people on it, we'll, we'll run it. Yeah, absolutely. So the first day it was advertised, we got 12 people. Yes booked up and another 12 and another 12 so, but the next Saturday as well we did yeah. the same and then kept going the next Saturday we did four Saturdays on the trot yeah. um, and it was so you know so well accepted by people yeah. and they were all saying you know it's great just to come along and see what you're talking about what you mean yeah very um, hands on as it were yeah, yeah well that's what it is we say to them all well, look it's not classroom stuff it's no PowerPoint presentations yeah have a cup of tea get your wellies on and out we'll go we'll start at the beginning and we'll work around the whole, you know, you can't do everything in one day, but we've picked the main key points yeah. that i found over the years have been the main points that people have fallen down on. It. Yeah, sure. You know, it's just, it's just us sharing information with them. And, and is it not common, though, of, of Bass, this, this is what the organisation is all about, isn't it? It's the sharing of knowledge. You guys are very, very forward thinking in as much as if you've got a problem, phone us up, we can help you, we can deal with it. And, and, and goodness me, you have experts across the board yeah well that's what you get when you join BASC yeah you get you get that um, that ability to, to phone up and if it's about shooting stalking wild fouling yeah. you've got the people there to talk to about it yeah. um, and we have the contacts to, to talk to as well you know and it, it's all about that it's, it's about helping people do what they want to do and do it properly yeah. um, but mainly it's about doing it with high standards and, and, yeah. and doing it well yeah, quite right. um, you know there's a big you know, public acceptance of shooting yeah. it's done it's done right a lot of people are quite happy with it and so we we want people to, to learn how to do it properly yeah. and with gamekeeping there's so many things you can do and if a guy hasn't been trained sometimes they don't, they're not quite sure of the law and things yeah. like that yeah. um, or whether they're doing things right or whether it's you know they're just doing their best yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, their heart's in the right place unless they've got the, the, the just, a li just a little bit of guidance I think you see it's, got, it's guidance yeah. and information yeah you know and some of the things are quite simple you know. yeah. Steve thank you very much indeed for sharing that it's with a us pleasure. and we'll catch up with you soon okay thank you. cheers thank you